Hi everyone, if you didn't already know, I'm Paul Amiski from Canadian Woodworks. In this video, we want you to better know the team that makes it work. I know, I f***ed it up, right? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's all of us, but... I'm the head sawyer here, I run the sawmill. Hi, I'm Amy Lemiski. A lot of the mode wrap. Unbelievable. Sweet, so here we are inside a 40 foot. Hello! Never answers back. Shipping container. This is fully insulated. We're turning this into our new kiln. If you haven't been following along, if you have, we got some progress for you. These are the pipes coming from our outdoor wood boiler. We burn our sawmill scraps. It's gonna heat the water up in this red pipe to 184 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna go through, and we have a radiator way at the end. Come on, I know the lighting's not as good. So the hot water is gonna go through this unit, big giant fan on the back of it, and it's gonna heat this. I had it running for one hour, and we got up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit inside the kiln. And that's what we're looking for. 130, 160 degrees Fahrenheit. This will really dry this wood. Whew, so I'm gonna get back to it. I'm just strapping the pipes up. Nothing too glamorous. And then uh, I'm gonna start a fire. We're gonna load some wood in here, I think, hopefully today. We'll see how it goes. So stay tuned. Sebastian will come back, check in with the progress. For the place. Hey everyone, I'm Justin Corbett. I'm the shop manager here at Canadian Woodworks. I've officially been here for about two and a half years, but my history here actually goes a little further back. I've been in and around the shop since about 2013. Uh, the way Paul and I met was we actually had, we went to the same high school and we had the same shop teacher. So when I came to my final year, I had a co-op class. So I needed to find a work placement. Our shop, well, my shop teacher at the time, remembering Paul did woodworking and had a shop, managed to get a hold of Paul. So we arranged it so that I'd, I'd do a high school co-op here for, uh, for the one semester. So I was here for a couple hours every day, um, learning the ins and outs of the shop, doing whatever was asked, trying to learn. So from there, the following summer, again, I was still popping around here and there, helping out with what I could. And from there, went to Conestoga College where I studied woodworking. And that was another co-op based program. So. I had three co-ops during that time, one of which I actually came back here for four months and did a full-time working position as a co-op student. And from there, continued on for college, graduated, found work for a little bit elsewhere, but then Paul and I got linked back up. So for the last two and a half years, I've been going strong, producing amazing work, working with the best tools we could ever ask for, meeting the most amazing people, traveling Ontario, going to the States, doing a whole bunch of amazing things. I'm the guy in the shop every day. I'm doing all sorts of things in there, whether it's the fabrication of jobs, finishing, doing epoxy pours, being on camera for Paul and Sebastian. We do have a lot of fun in there. But yeah, pretty well all aspects of the job. Usually Paul will get jobs and then customers will then be passed off to me as, as far as any details to be discussed. As if I'm fabricating it, it's good to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction. I'll keep contact with the customer throughout the jobs, keep them posted on where we're at, what we're doing. And then from there, either create it up so it can be delivered or actually perform the delivery. Usually get a helping hand. Just like... Justin, we need these legs <laughs> out really fast today. Patina, we need the vintage patina. So we're gonna be we're gonna be patinating those, yeah. um, and then shipping them out. That's that's usually what my role is in the shop. It's just nice that every day it's it's something different. It's never the same thing every day, so it makes things pretty fun, pretty interesting, and you really never know what's gonna happen. So that's my life in the shop. Uh, I love it. I look forward to it every day, and I look forward to you guys seeing what we do. So you've heard my story. Next up, we got Chad, who's actually following in the footsteps of what I kind of did about five or six years ago. He's a student going to school for woodworking, learning about it, came here and did some work, and now you're gonna go hear about his experience. So, go talk to Chad. 
Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chad Naden from Legacy Lumber. I'm the head sawyer here. I run the sawmill. We're milling up some black walnut today. I just met uh... a... Yeah, what's going on? You're sitting around. We got this big, beautiful log on the sawmill. Let's get back to work. Hard working day here. Uh, so I met Paul on uh, Instagram last summer. Um, I just DM'd him on Instagram actually, and I was close by, so I, I started working up here. I have my own sawmill back at home as well, so I, I know what I'm doing up here. So this is my second summer now. I work three days a week here just running the sawmill. How we started is we get the logs from uh, all over, mostly uh, urban salvage trees, and uh, we'll pick them up using the big excavator and put them on the sawmill, and we'll mill up different sized logs and everything. We can do two different sizes of the sawmill, uh, smaller and we call it extendo mode. Then from there, once the blades get dull, we have a, a sawmill shed behind us and we have a, a, a sawmill or a blade sharpener in there. Uh, so we can put the blades on there and sharpen those right here um, on site instead of having to send them out. Um, that just speeds up time a lot. So I love just opening up the logs. It's the best put, cutting that first slab off the top and you get to open up a, a treasure inside every time. It's, it's different, unique every time you open up a log. Um, so it's awesome working, getting to see it right out of the nature, right onto the sawmill and uh, dried and into a piece of furniture and ready to be uh, made into a final piece. But it's awesome being outside here, working in the fresh air, everything, just loving life. <laughs> God damn. Um, I started uh, woodworking when I was about 15. Um, since then, uh, about two years ago, I built my own sawmill. Um, I'm out of Oakville at Naden Furniture. Um, so I mill my own slabs over there. I, I send them out to get dried and everything. So I'm, I'm doing the same operation on a smaller scale in my own uh, uh, area there. I love doing this stuff. I do it on my own time. Any spare time I have, that's what I uh, uh, love to do. But we're so excited to open up to you guys again to the public and get some more people up here and everything. We've got a lot coming in the future. This summer's gonna be huge for us. Uh, so we'll go talk to Troy, see what he's up to. I met Troy last summer as well, uh, same time as Paul. And he's been uh, helping me out up here. He's, he's the jack of all trades. He does everything around here. So we'll go down and check out what he's doing. I'm Amy Lemiski and I'm Paul's wife. And I am mostly behind the scenes here at Canadian Woodworks. I do a little bit of everything. Um, I do some emailing, shipping, getting quotes, running to the post office, customer service, and sometimes I do a little bit of the heavy work, but not usually anymore. Um, I've been with Canadian Woodworks now for three years full time. Um, I actually don't have a background in woodworking or even business. I uh, went to school for ECE, so I have a daycare background. Um, I was with uh, the same daycare for 11 years um, before Paul actually convinced me to quit my job and come work full time here. When Paul and I first started dating, if I wanted to see him, I came up to the shop and because that's where you'd find him. And I actually did some of the sanding and the finishing work. Um, and it wasn't until I actually received a fortune in my fortune cookie that said um, expect a career change where I actually made the decision to put in my leave of absence and come full time with the team. That's I did, so it's cool. still on my fridge. That's insane. Yep, I opened it and it was like expect a career change and I'm like, oh my God. That's insane. Yeah. Uh, Bob just texted me, did, did the ladies get shipped out? We're working on that right now. That's the type of stuff I would do. I okay, would. Okay, great. I'll let him know. Thanks. Um, I think the part that I enjoy most about um, running a small business is the flexibility. Um, coming from a daycare background, I had just everything was so scheduled from the time you start, the time you finish. Um, where having your own business, you know, if I want to start later, work longer, work weekends take a day off to get the hair did, you know, I can do it. There's nothing stopping me. Um, this is my, mine and my husband's future. So you just put your heart and soul into this company to make it what you want to see it be. 
When I first started, I found it really hard to like find my niche, like where I belonged in this company, having no background in business or woodworking. Just seeing the change in myself from three years ago to now, what I know, like, you know, from types of lumber to sandpaper grit to bookkeeping, um, it's just, it's been a huge learning and growth experience for me. Hey, my name is Troy and I'm the operations manager here at uh, Legacy Lumber. I manage and coordinate the activities from the raw material, the logs coming in, all the way to our finished product for the customer. So I've been here for about two years now and I first started here as a somewhat of a co-op student, I guess. I worked here during my semester off for college and uh, when I finished college I didn't really, I initially wanted to get an office job but when I was done and I'd already been working here I decided that an office job wasn't really for me. So I came back here full time and since then I haven't really looked back. It's great being outside every day and working hard and much better than being inside. Uh, favorite part about working here would be everyone's super nice, um, pretty relaxed environment. Even though we work hard every day, no one's ever stressed out too much and uh, there's always something new to do and every day is different and it's very fast paced, which I enjoy. Um, I don't really plan anything in life over a week ahead of time. So as of right now, I'm still planning on, yes, this is what I plan to do until next week at least. Could Chad said you're the jack of all trades. Oh yeah? Uh, I agree with him 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I can just about do anything, yeah. So I, yeah, I only have bad memories. The shop catching on fire. <laughs> Mitchell always breaking stuff. Yeah, I can't, I can't answer that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We're really small right now and we're just growing every day and it's nice to keep busy. Like, no new memories really, just every day there's a little small accomplishment and hopefully that compounds over the year and we just grow bigger and bigger and don't get stressed out about it. So that's it from me. Uh, I know it's not much. I'm not a big fan of the camera and all, so uh, I'm gonna give you to the guy who loves the camera and that's Paul. Um, he's the guy I clean up after every day and kind of follow around because he's a big tornado of a mess. But uh, you guys know that he's a fun guy and he's really smart, so here he is. Hi everyone, I'm Paul Lomiski, owner of Canadian Woodworks Legacy Lumber. I've been a full-time furniture maker for about 10 years and I've also operated the lumber company for about four to five years. My days are hectic, don't get me started. I can do anything from running the sawmill, building some furniture, to really just sitting at the computer answering emails, direct messages, or filling out invoices. I'm very fortunate to live on the same property that we work on. I get to wake up every morning, enjoy a nice cup of coffee, overlook the valley with my wife. I get to walk to work, preferably by the sawmill, check in with Chad, hopefully the sawdust is flying. I then walk by the big shop, Justin's usually in there, sanding up a table, gluing up something. I may even have to give him a hand moving a big slab. Walk by, usually Troy's unloading or loading the kiln. That's a, a, a weekly routine around here. Uh, or he's on the phone trying to get some lumber orders, trying to get some things sorted out. I then head down to the office, always checking emails, DMs, all the YouTube comments. Thanks guys. <laughs> And then from there, my day can be anything. It is crazy how, how unique and broad and, and just, uh, it's a surprise. Every day is a surprise. I might have a breakdown at the sawmill. We might have some uh, furniture making, some woodworking. I still do that occasionally, which is fantastic. Uh, I might have to lend a hand in the shop, which is nice. But typically, I'm the problem solver. Whether it's mechanical, maybe we need to troubleshoot a shipping issue, something like that. I never know how my day is gonna end up. I started off woodworking full-time making furniture. I went to a couple craft shows. I grew my furniture business like that. And from there, I met my beautiful wife. Convinced her to quit her job and work alongside me, which was uh, quite the change for her. So kudos to her. I really, really appreciate her every, every day, putting in the hard work, keeping me in line, and also handling most of the paperwork. Occasionally, we, were, we work together or we like to say we yell together at each other, but we, we, get, we, get, we get it done, we work it all out. 
um, I've put together a great team around me as my business has grown from just that starting, you know, building a chair, building a piece of furniture for this customer. We've grown into a full custom furniture company as well as a lumber company with multiple dealers around North America. Justin, he came to me straight out of high school. He actually co opted for me. My old shop teacher brought him by literally just to sweep the floors and through meeting him and really building a, a friendship, I would say, um, we've, we've grown into a fantastic relationship. It's, it's great. <laughs> that was stupid too. I really appreciate him putting in full-time hard hours uh, every day. He does a fantastic job building furniture as well as we put some extra responsibilities on, on his plate to start dealing with the customers and that's going terrific. He's uh, doing a bang up job. Troy over at the lumber company, I can't say enough good things about him. He keeps things so much better organized than I ever did. So if you customers are out there and you've been dealing with us, maybe you should come on back and deal with Troy because we, uh, we can certainly help you out. No, that was. <laughs> he does everything from answering the calls to shipping out that piece of lumber to our customer. He handles it all, so it's fantastic. We've also recently brought on Chad, who spent last summer with us working the sawmill. We brought him back this year, back to the sawmill. So he's actually, yeah, yeah, he's cutting right now, making sawdust, so it's fantastic. Chad has an extremely strong work ethic, shows up on time, works later hours if needed. He's not the biggest guy, but it's surprising. He can move some big slabs around and uh, he does a fantastic job at the sawmill. It's a critical operation. You're taking that log and turning it into the lumber. You can cut too fast. You can have a wavy cut. It is a critical step. And uh, interesting Chad to that is, uh, takes a lot off of my plate, really. All these guys, being able to delegate all these different tasks that I used to do, uh, but obviously got overwhelmed as my business has grown by having this team around me it feels, it feels really, really good knowing I'm in good hands with these guys. You know what I mean? Like, I'm one of those people that I feel like I need to be involved with every little thing. I need to kind of oversee it, make sure it's done properly, my way. Not necessarily properly, but my way, I suppose. But I've grown a little bit out of that type of mindset by having this great team around me and being able to delegate and have these guys take care of the tasks. It's really awesome. Of course, we can't forget about Sebastian behind the camera right now and thanks to him these videos come to you he records it does the audio does the color correction does the editing does the uploading pretty much does every single thing and he does a fantastic job of it I'm sure uh, you guys agree with me he's been with us just a short period about over a year now something like that yeah it's been about a year and uh, you know what along with all my other guys we've developed a great friendship as well as uh, I think a great back and forth in filming these videos to capture really what we're looking for and what we want to show you guys. So thank you, Sebastian. Now where do you want me to go? <laughs> um, so being a small business owner, definitely stressful, but the rewards heavily outweigh that stress level. I get to work with my wife. Also, all my employees, they're more than just employees. They're my friends. So getting to spend every day with my friends, what can be better than that? And I also really enjoy solving problems and definitely being a business owner is full of problems. I like to say there's actually no problems, there's only solutions. And it's on my shoulders to find those solutions. And then there's the community. Huge, massive woodworking community through Instagram and YouTube. I get to meet woodworkers from all over the world. I get to learn things from them. I get to answer questions and hopefully they get to learn something from me. We have clients from all over the world and being the owner of the company, we get to be directly in communication with them also developing not only the client relationship, they typically also become friends. So I think really, when you think about it all, one of the, the best things about what I do is that I get to become friends with everyone that I deal with on a daily basis, from my employees to my clients. It's pretty awesome. Definitely one of my fondest memories is when my wife first started working for me. I was basically working 10, 12, 14 hour days all by myself in the farm, in the small shop. So I did, after a while, convince her to leave her job that she had been doing for 11 years. Um, I think that was very, very stressful for her. She likes to have a, uh, a plan, know what's going on on a daily basis, especially. And her leaving that environment and being able to come spend time with me, as well as trying to grow this business, really, 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 really meant a lot to me. And uh, it was a real turning point, I think, 
in, in this career, in this business that we have. Getting to go to the craft shows with Amy was terrific. We used to travel around. Uh, we even traveled around and we ran the sawmill together. We ran a 10 hour day where we sawed like 20 logs for a customer. It was hot, it was sweaty, the mosquitoes were out. Uh, but you know what, she stuck with me and I think she's really, really uh, elevated my everyday. So that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about our small business and really about our small family, producing awesome lumber and awesome furniture. We also consider you guys part of the family for tuning in, watching these videos. We really, really appreciate it. So until next time, make it a great one. Our small little Mario Kart team that... Yeah, I know. <laughs> like it just goes off so well, crazy. Yeah. Honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs>